All right, you're the first team headed to the semifinals. How are you feeling right now? Uh, I'm feeling pretty great. We, um, our model is not too high, not too low, so we just stay the same. We knew it was, it's a game of runs. We knew they was going to get their run. We was going to be able to take their punch, and we had to come out with a bigger punch to take the lead and just maintain the, uh, the game the whole way. I'd say that, uh, you know, you did pretty well today. You know, career high, 34 points for you. What kind of confidence does that give you going forward? I mean, I've been locked in a lot more because, I mean, the regular season is cool. We got the regular season championship. But the, the, the conference championship is what we're working for, and that's our goal since day one. So we knew we had to work hard towards that goal. And, I, I mean, we exceeded expectations this year. Now, this was the first time that you had seen UNC this season. What kind of advantage do you think you had maybe not seeing them prior to this game? I mean, honestly, I think we was at a disadvantage because we played them last year, but we know every year it's a different team. Every year is new plays, so we didn't know what to expect. We knew the key players was Matt Johnson, uh, number 15, and Bodie Humes. We knew we had to stop them. And it was just a matter of uh, who wanted it more. 50-50 balls, they got out to a lead. We had to fight back. And it just shows the will this team has this year. Last year, we probably would have put our head down. But this year, we just never high, never too high, never too low. And that's just taking us a long way. Yeah, what does that say about you, that you're able to face that adversity and come away with a win? I know that you know in the first half that you were trailing by as many as nine. So what does that say about your team? I mean, it says a lot, but I got to give my hat off. I got to tip my hat off to Coach Simon. He puts us in situations at practice. Like, we, we actually work on being down 10 with two minutes left. Quick, we need quick three, quick twos. He put us in position to do well in the game. So, I mean, give all the credit. We make the plays, but give all the credit to Coach because he, he draws the plays up. We just execute them so well this year. Well, Big Sky Coach of the Year, right? So what would you say, you know, with him being the Coach of the Year, what was the central message from him coming into this tournament? We knew. I mean, everyone has a chip on their shoulder. We still, we still mad about the preseason rankings. They had a number seven, and they had Northern Colorado pick third with two place votes. So, I mean, a lot of us got a chip on our shoulder, being that we knew what type of team we had. We knew it was going to be special this year. And we just knew we was going to have to earn our respect. So that's our motto. We're earning our respect. And hopefully we put the big sky on notice. What is it that makes your team so special? Um, the bond we have off the court. Like last year, I know I keep going back to last year, but it, we're so different than last, last year. This year we actually spend time, we always together outside, outside the court. We're always in the gym together. I mean, we just do everything as a group. And that bond has bonded so much. It got us stronger on the court. So now we got that trust. Like, we know when you put the back cut, we know you're going to back cut. Like, we just got so much trust in each other, and it's just amazing how much we trust each other this year. It's definitely evident on the court. Now, best of luck to you going forward, and congratulations on your career high.